Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to season two of Spitting Venom, AKA the Venom Vlog. This is episode 151, kicking off the second season. And we're gonna ride this season all the way until the movie comes out and hopefully hit 300, uh, episode 300 by then. Uh, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna try to pump out a lot of stuff for you guys. Uh, we're gonna stick to five episodes a week though, from now on. And I appreciate you guys giving me a few days off to like work on stuff, get new intros done and all that, get kind of like my life back on schedule, get some writing done. It really means a lot to me. So now that we're Back. we're gonna go full force and even though I'm on my way to the comic store right now because I'm a little bit behind on new comics Venomized number five came out so I'm gonna go pick that up uh, but even though that's you know what I'm going to get today that's not what this video is the intro for we're actually gonna talk about something movie related I saw something in the trailer that was interesting to me and it caused some like chatter online about how maybe the suit the Venom suit actually works in the film uh, because we saw the suit like you know his arm turn into a tentacle and whip out and then like his back like a, a tentacle shot out of of his back but it didn't rip through his clothes and it didn't tear up his clothes and I saw some people questioning that and obviously in the comics we know that the suit is the clothes but we don't know if that's the case in the movie so I thought this could be an interesting topic so let's dive right into it and then afterwards I want to get your thoughts so let's get going so one thing I saw online was definitely people questioning how the Venom symbiote works in the new movie. Because if you look at some of these uh, screenshots here that I'll have up, uh, these are from the latest trailer and you'll see like, you know, Eddie's hand kind of turning into a tentacle in a way. It kind of wraps around his forearm and uh, comes out of his hand. Uh, then you see the like the one shot where it comes out of his back and it doesn't seem to rip through his clothes. And I saw some people online questioning this saying, you know, hey, why doesn't it rip through his clothes? What's going on? And I thought that was an interesting question because obviously we've seen multiple versions of the suit before. We've seen versions that are the clothes themselves. So in the shot where like, you know, his back like shoots a tentacle out, that's actually the shirt stretching and like, you know, it's not even the shirt actually, it's the suit, the suit mimicking, um, you know, the, the shirt that he's wearing or the hoodie that he's wearing. And where we get this, probably a lot of people think back to the animated series in this scene right here where Peter Parker is standing on top of a building and he's like, all right, let's see how this thing works, you know? And he's like, oh, look, let, turn, turn me into this. And he's like, eh, that's boring, Peter Parker. Turn me into the guy from Aerosmith. And he's like, eh, it's cool, but I can't rock this. And he's like, what about something Italian? And then it becomes like, uh, like an Armani suit or something. Look like looks really like really nice and he's like look dressed like a 10 uh, and then so you know that's one version I think a lot of people think back to uh, who grew up in the 90s who think about the venom suit and how it works so in essence like in that scene it could be the hoodie itself turning into a tentacle and shooting out that's why it doesn't rip through the suit uh, but I think the reason a lot of people question it is because right before that happens we get that close-up shot of his eyes going black uh, which does happen in the comics sometimes too and it looks like a virus, some kind of virus that he's infected with and not just the suit latching onto him, but maybe something that's, you know, coughed on him or spit up on him or something like that from that woman in the hallway. We're assuming that's where he gets infected, of course, based on how the trailer's cut. Um, so I think that's why a lot of people are confused. Is this like an internal uh, thing that comes out of them um, or is it something that, you know, can mimic clothes and stuff? And so obviously we don't have the answer to that yet. Uh, it would make sense in that scene and would definitely help out, you know, costuming department and special effects teams or visual effects teams uh, as well to not have to worry about showing torn up clothes uh, if the suit was just mimicking a hoodie. Uh, so that could be the case here, but I don't know because if you look back on the Spider-Man 3 movie, we saw scenes from there where the suit was just attaching itself to Peter. Uh, it, it went around his costume. He like fell asleep, you know, wearing it, I guess the went around his costume and it kind of mimicked his costume, but he could take it off like clothes and he put it in a drawer, you know, in his room somewhere. And then he would pull the costume out and then put it back on. And it wasn't until he started ripping it uh, at the, the church where he's trying to rip the suit off, uh, where it looks like it's fully attached. It's become the suit itself or wrapped around the cloth so tightly that it's uh, absorbing into Peter's skin. So it looks like that's kind of the journey they go on in the in the Spider-Man 3 movie is that it, it it's the it's on the clothes and then it becomes the clothes and then he pulls it off and those clothes kind of transfer to uh, to Eddie Brock and that's why his suit looks very similar to the Spider-Man costume just altered and you know kind of deformed in a way and, and malformed in a way uh, so a lot of us are speculating, well, how, how will the suit work? Because we've seen it in cartoons, we've seen it in comics, we've seen it work in different ways. Uh, in this scene from the original animated series as well, you see, uh, from the 90s, you see the suit uh, as Eddie Brock's working out, it kind of like comes out from him and wraps around him. He's wearing no top, actually, so the suit just comes around. So, you know, it's it's 
it's internal and external is the only thing I can explain uh, is that it can be inside of them and it can be outside of them. And, and it's only because in the comics and in the animated show and in other things, we've seen it be both. So in this scene with him, with the hoodie scene, where the thing's coming out of his back, the tentacles coming out of his back, um, it could be the suit mimicking it or it could not be and it could be coming out of him and maybe it didn't rip a hole in the, the clothes because it's absorbing the clothes, you know, like we've seen in Spider-Man 3. Like, who knows? Uh, obviously, a lot of special effects and visual effects aren't done on the trailer yet. That trailer, you know, had some things that need to be touched up and things, scenes need to be color corrected. So there still could be that excuse why it didn't look finished and maybe it does rip through the clothes. Uh, maybe they will add that in in post. Like, we don't know. Uh, but it is a question I saw people asking, and I thought it was one that I would, you know, bring to you guys. Like, I... And my final verdict is that it's both. It's something inside of them, and, and also it can be external as well. It can disguise as clothes, or it can recede into them, because we've seen both happen in the comics and in other movies and in cartoons before. Uh, obviously, Carnage is mostly internal. It's in his blood, so that's not even an argument to me. I think if Carnage shows up, it ha once it bonds with Cletus Cassidy, it has to be internal. It has to bond directly with his blood and exist within him. And only when he gets cut does it come out. So it doesn't mimic clothes. It doesn't do any of that. It acts a little bit differently than Venom's. It creates hard objects, uh, you know, where it can make an axe or something, and it can be permanent. Whereas Venom's is like tentacles and whips and things like that. It doesn't really make uh, super hard objects other than maybe like a shield from time to time. Uh, so those to me are the differences, the fundamental differences uh, visually and power set wise between Carnage and Venom's suit. So so you guys let me know, do you think it should just be one? Should it just be internal? Should it be external? Can it be both? I would love to hear what you guys think of this. And uh, yeah, and thank you for coming back for season two. Uh, hopefully, you know, I just wanted to start the season off with something, you know, a little different, a little bit more conversational uh, and have something that was uh, visual about the new movie and something in the trailer that I found interesting. I saw a lot of people questioning this and I thought it was a good thing to make a topic on because there is no single answer. It's actually, to me, it could be both. And it'll be interesting to see what version or how how they portray it fully in the final product of this movie. So let me know what you guys think down below. How do you like your symbiotes to work? Do you like it to mimic clothes? Do you like it if it's inside and comes out only when it's agitated? Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.